too. But I do want to make sure when in doubt, leave it out. I can't see you. So as an instructor, that's been the hardest part. So I want to make sure everyone's doing this workout safely. Um, you want to make sure you're on a soft surface. Very, very important that you have really nice cushion under your body because we will be rolling on the spine. And then also really listen to my cues. I'm going to be as hopefully pronounced as possible so you can really walk through step by step as just hearing my voice even more than just seeing me do it so that's always the goal and then also don't be afraid to breathe um breath is very very important that's another thing that's really helped me in my ballet career because i would always be one of those dancers that held my breath while dancing and that's not really good so this is very good and a good time to work that breath. So when you say you see you hear me say inhale through the nose, exhale through the mouth. Don't just go a little bit of breath. Really get some oxygen into the back of the body. I see a lot more people joining on, so I don't want to repeat myself. Like I said, this will be um, onto their IGTV afterwards, so it will be available if you cannot take right now. But if you can, join me on the live fun and. Again, just one more time, how many people are taking and have never had Pilates before? It doesn't even have to be with me, it can be with just, you know, in general. And if you have, let's rock and roll. Like I said, this is an intermediate advanced, but it is more on the advanced side, but I'm gonna give you intermediate cues, which means if you need to modify things, go ahead and take the modification. But if you wanna just pull through and power it out, you can do that too, all right? This is gonna be a very fun class. So if you are newer to Pilates, when in doubt, take it out, okay? And I'm also, I also do intro to Matt every week on my account, which is Tay Tay Ballet. So if you're really interested in finding out um, more of a beginner way to power Pilates, tune on um, Matt, and that'll really give you a deep, deep understanding of what power Pilates is and how to apply the corrections and the classwork to an intermediate advanced class. So let's get started because this class is 45 minutes. So I wanna make sure I have enough time on the Instagram and it doesn't get logged off. Again, make sure you're on a soft surface and let's have some fun, guys. All right, so you're gonna start the front edge of your mat, making sure the comments are not in my way. No, they're not, okay. You're gonna front, start the front edge of your mat. You're gonna cross your right leg over your left. This is called genie. And you're gonna cross your, leg, your arms together and you're gonna lower yourself down nice and slowly without plopping down, making sure you're centered on your mat equally front to back, side to side. Use your mat as your ruler for your body, especially dancers. We wanna make sure we're really lining our spine up, getting that nice elongation of the body. Bring your hands out in front of you and just roll yourself down. We're gonna go straight into the hundreds, okay? So, a little bit of an advanced workout. You're gonna start with your legs nice and straight. If you need more of a modification, bring your legs to tabletop or bring your legs at 45 degrees. But for that advanced work, we're gonna bring our legs just two inches off the mat, pressing your lower back into the floor. Bring your hands nice and long. Lift your head, neck, and shoulders off the mat. Look into your belly button. Start pumping your arms. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Really think about pumping the arms up vigorously above the hips. So you wanna think of going up and up and up and up. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Try to challenge yourself even more. Lower the legs two inches off the mat. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. How is the lower back? Is it pressing into the floor? Is your abdominals nice and engaged and zipped up through the power hats? Nice and long. Two more sets. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Inhale, two, three, four, five. Exhale, two, three, four, five. Rest your head down, rest your legs down long on the mat. Bring your hands above the head. Remembering to keep the rib cage closed, the hands are by the ears. We're gonna peel our chin to our chest, melt the spine up, keep the connection with the ears, with the arms. Your legs are glued together, the feet are flexed. We're gonna keep that C curve of the spine melted down like a wheel. Think of your lower, middle, upper back touching. Come right back up with those hands. Make sure they're staying by the ears, rib cage closed. Feet are together, nice and flexed. Keep that C curve melting the spine down. Bone by bone, rolling it down. Two more times, so coming on up. Warming up that spine. You're actually still massaging it while working your abdominals. So it's a two-way streak. You're getting both actions in. One more time. Gluing the legs together. Good, and rolling it back down. Nice and slowly, good. Bring your hands by your side. We're really rolling, flowing into this quickly. Bring your legs straight into a tabletop position. Now bring your legs straight up to the ceiling. We're gonna go into overhead. So 
bringing your legs behind you. You're gonna bring them up parallel to the floor. My feet are gonna flex open, just shoulder distance apart. I'm gonna melt my spine down, and I'm gonna circle the legs down and around. Now I'm gonna come right back up, shooting the hips up. Feet are flexed, parallel open, hip distance apart, and melt the spine down. So it's not about how wide the legs are. You wanna keep the control. Good, one more time before we reverse. Flex the feet open, melt the spine down, peeling down your tailbone, anchoring it into the floor. Let's reverse it. Reverse the legs, keep them open, flexed. Up, close the feet, point them, and melt the tailbone down. Two more times. Open, legs, flex, keep them open, just shoulder distance apart. Make sure you listen to my cues. And melt the spine down. We have one more time. Lower the legs, flex them open. Up, close the legs, and melt the spine down. Good, with that left leg, send it flexed down towards the mat, elongating the body. Keep the right leg up to the ceiling. My dancers, if you'd like to point it and turn it out, you can. We're gonna go in towards the body, circle the leg down, around, and up, stop at your center. Don't go past your hip line. Down, around, and two. Think about your abdominals drawing the circle, not your hip. Down, around, and four, one more. Down, around, and five. We're gonna reverse that away from the body. Down, around, stop at your center. And down, around, and two. Nice big circles, down, around, and three. And down, around, and four, how's your lower back? Down, around, and five. Flex the foot, drive it away from your body. Nice and long, bring that left leg up, turn it out, point it if you would like. And here we go, in towards the body, down, around, stop, your center one. Down, around, and two. Your center point is not over your hip because then you lose the abdominal engagement. Try the tailbone into the floor. Down, around, and four, one more. Down, around, and five, let's reverse. Down, around, stop at your center. Down, around, and two. Down, around, and three. Down, around, and four. Last one, down, around, and five. Flex the foot, drive it away. Energy shooting out through the feet. Bring your hands above your head and just peel your spine up, rolling it up bone by bone, sitting up nice and tall. Good, let's go into rolling like a ball. Bringing your body towards the front edge of your mat. We're gonna have balance on the tailbone. We're gonna start with two different types of rolling like a ball. So we're gonna hug our shins in. My feet are in a Pilates first position. Heels are pressing together. My shoulders are rolling onto the back of my body. Looking down at my belly button, make a C curve. You're gonna rock it back to the tips of the shoulder blades, come right back up. We're gonna start with this one, then we're gonna transition to a little harder. Rock it back and rock it up. You're massaging out your spine. Don't put the feet down. Rock it back and rock it up. One more time before we do a little bit different. Rock it back and rock it up. Stay where you are. Let's grab the opposite wrist with our left hand. Close the legs, hug into a deep, tight ball position, a lot harder. Rock it back and rock it up. Pull your abdominals even deeper, look into your belly button. Rock it back and rock it up. This is an abdominal workout, but you're also massaging out your spine. Should feel really nice. One more time. Rock it back and rock it up. Let's transition into that abdominal series. Don't put your feet down, bring your right leg in, bring your left leg long. And melt your spine down to the mat. Stay as high as you can. Pull that leg even deeper, deeper, deeper. We're gonna switch, pull it even deeper, 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 switch. For more of a challenge, hover that straight leg only two inches off the mat. And switch, let's add the breath. We inhale, switch, inhale, switch, exhale, switch, exhale, switch. Try to get your shoulders off the floor. Lower back, pressing into the mat. Let's speed it up. We inhale, switch, inhale, switch, exhale, switch, exhale, switch, inhale, switch, inhale, switch, exhale, switch, exhale, switch. Keep your head off the mat, double leg. Bring both legs in, give them a big, 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 big hug. And then extend everything out long. Hands by your ears, legs are long. Hug it in, pressing the lower back into the floor. Extend it out, inhale, exhale, hug it in, a big ball. Inhale, out, exhale, one more time. Inhale, and exhale, let's go into scissors. We pull, pull the right foot, double. Pull, pull, and switch. Pull, pull, and switch. Little pulse, and pulse. Come even higher, pull, 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 pull. And two, and two, and one, and one. Bring both legs up to the ceiling, place your hands behind your head. Keep your head off the mat. We lower the legs down for three, two, one. Bring the tailbone, anchor it down, don't go past your waist. Lower down for three, two, one, come right back up. We lower down for three, two, one, come right back up, one more time. Lower down for your three, two, one, come right back up. Bend your legs in tabletop position. We're gonna twist to the right, opposite elbow to opposite knee, but I like to think of my armpit because it gives you a deeper stretch. Find your center. We twist to the left. You're gonna hold it, elbows are wide. Find your center. We twist to the left, come up even higher. 50% twist, 50% abdominals. 
Find your center. Two ways to the left. And hold. Let's speed it up. Here we go. We go for five. And five. Four. And four. Three. Three. Two. Two. Elbows wide. And rest your head down. Good abdominal work, guys. Bring your hands above your head. Give it a little bit of a stretch. You deserve it. The only time you're going to arch your back right here like this. So take advantage of that. Now, hugging the powerhouse, gluing in the rib cage, zipping up the line. Let's bring our hands above our head, and we're going to transition into that roll up, hugging our legs together, and just stretch it forward. Good. Really flowing through. Sit up nice and tall for spine stretch forward. You want to make sure your legs are a little bit wider than your mat, but they're not too wide. We're not in a second position, especially with my dancers that get very excited, but make sure you're only mat distance apart. Bring your hands in front of you. I want you to think about pulling up through the abdominals. And as you stretch forward, it's not about touching the toes. It's about reaching that back of the rib cage towards the back edge of your mat. So inhale through the nose, exhale, driving deeply into the back of the rib cage, stretch it out. And then inhale down here and then exhale, pull all the way back up. So four breaths, inhale through the nose, exhale, spine, stretch it out. You should feel it in the back of your hamstrings. Inhale through the nose, exhale, blow all the air out as it blows you back up towards a nice sitting spine. Inhale through the nose, exhale, peeling it down. Inhale through the nose, exhale, blowing it right back up. Let's do that one more time. Sit up nice and tall on your sits bones. Inhale through the nose, stretching it. Push back into my hand as if my hand was on the back of your body. And then come right back up. Nice, tall spine. Good. Walk yourself a little bit forward, but keep your legs where they are. Okay, a little bit of an advanced work, so take it as you can. We're going to just um, float our ankles right up into our hands and for that open leg rocker. Good. Deepen your abdominals. Nice, proud chest. We're going to rock it back to the tips of the shoulder blades. Come right back up. Find your nice, proud chest. Rock it back and rock it up. Nice, proud chest. Find your balance. Let's forget about the chest and just roll. Good. Rock it back. Come on up. Rock it back. Come on up. One more time. Rock it back and come on up, find your balance, close the legs, teaser, hands are in a V, lower your body down into a position on the mat, and then we're gonna go into corkscrew. Lift your hips up, we circle them to the right, down around. Think about only lifting four vertebrae off the floor. Down around to the left, circle the legs, down around and up. Then circle to the right, down and around, and up. To the left, down and around, and up. One more time each side, circle to the legs, down and around, and up. Up, to the left, down, around, and up. Melt the spine down. Hug your legs into your chest. You deserve it just for two seconds. Give it a nice hug. Bring your legs nice and long on the mat. Transitioning for another roll up. Bring your hands by your head and peel the spine off the floor. Good. Let's go into our saw. I'm going to face you because I hit the wall when I do saw. My legs are about hip distance apart, not too wide. You're sitting nice and tall on your sits bones. Bring your hand into a T position, and you want to make sure they're in your peripheral vision, so they're not too far back. They're kind of in front of you, keeping that proper alignment. You're going to twist to the right, already anchoring down that left sits bone, and you're going to dive it forward, opposite pinky finger to opposite pinky toe. Don't forget about that back arm. It's pressing up. You're going to come to a nice sitting position. Find your center. Two ways to the left, diving it forward. Opposite pinky finger to opposite pinky toe, coming on up, nice tall spine, and find your center. Two ways to the right, and contract it forward. Nice long stretch. Make sure both feet are even into the floor, and stretch it up. We twist to the left, contract it forward. Good, come on up, and find your center. And let's flip over to our tummies for saw, uh, swan, sorry. All right. Going straight into swan dive. Let's really fire up the abs. So a lot of dancers especially like to go into the back. But I want you to think about really driving this rocking and rolling motion from your deepest part of your powerhouse, okay? So bring your hands underneath your shoulders. Abdominals are already pulling in and up. I'm pressing my feet into the floor. I'm going to lift my body up as high as I can go, and I'm going to shoot my hands forward and start rocking. So rock forward, rock back, rock forward, rock back in five, four, three, two, and one. Rock back into a rest position. Stretch it out. Good. Stretch long, long, long. Give it a nice stretch. Good. And come right back out. 
Bring your body long on the mat. We're going to go straight into single. Prop yourself up. We're going to take it a little slower first. You're sitting nice and tall. Your head is shooting forward and you're making sure your abdominals are pulling in and up. And we're going to get a little lift out of your elbows. Kick, kick and switch. Kick, kick and switch. Make sure you're pressing your pelvis into the floor. And if you have really tight quads like me, this one can be a big challenge. We don't want to move the hips as much as possible. We also don't want to sink into the shoulder blades. Nice and long. And two. And one. Rest your head down. Let's go into double. Lacing your thumbs above your back. Kind of where your bra meets. Really, really high. Press your pelvis into the floor. And we're going to do a triple kick. We triple kick for one, two, three. Bring your arms and legs out, but keep them flat on the floor with your legs. Switch your head and we go to the other side. Kick for one, two, three. Legs press into the ground. Nice, proud chest. Roll the shoulders back and switch cheeks. We kick for one, two, three. The feet press into the floor. You come even higher off that mat. Don't break the neck. Look down at the floor. Last one. We kick for one, two, three. Find a nice, proud position. Bring your hands by your side. Lift your feet off the floor. We hold for five. How are your abdominals? Are they in and up or are they resting onto the mat? Two. And one, relax it down, go back into that quick child's pose position. All right, guys, like I said, power Pilates, we keep that flow going, especially in an advanced level mat. Okay, let's go right back to our bottom, swing your feet around, and we're gonna go into one of my favorites, neck pull. Good, bring your feet long and just roll down to the mat. Starting at an advanced level, you start laying down. We're gonna bring the hands behind the base of our skull, the fingertips are only touching making sure that you have a little bit of a space in between your legs. You can even ground your, your uh, heels into the mat. Yes, and then here we go. We're gonna dive our chin to the chest, just bring outside, and dive the head down, come on up, sit up nice and tall, hinge it back, and then contract, roll all the way back down. Let's come right back up. Diving the head forward, keep your elbows wide. Sit up nice and tall, hinging it back, Contract, roll all the way back down. Let's go again, diving the head forward. Sit up, sit up nice and tall, crown of the head shooting up. Hinging it back, contract, roll down. And one more time, guys. Dive the head forward, elbows wide. Sit up nice and tall with the crown of the head, and then hinge it back and roll it all the way back down. Good. Stay where you are. I'm just gonna adjust so I can keep in the camera view. We're gonna go into bridge prep. So bring your legs bent onto the mat. After all that spinal work and abdominal work, this one's gonna feel really good because we're gonna go the opposite way with the body. So make sure your heels are pretty close to your bottom. Your hands are pressing firmly into the ground. You should feel no strain in the neck. You should only feel pressure in the chest and then grounded in the feet and the heels. So we're gonna think about squeezing our glutes, squeezing our hamstrings first. So that's engaged. Now we're gonna peel the spine off the mat. Think about your lower, your middle, your upper back. Good. Find a nice bridge position. Nice and tall, melt it out, and melt your upper, middle, lower spine. Good, let's do that again. Melting the spine up, lower, middle, upper back. Finding a nice proud bridge position, your hips are high, and we're gonna melt it down. Let's do this one more time, let's add a variation. We're gonna get fancy, here we go. So melting the spine up, Lower, middle, upper back. Really finding a nice press into the heels. Shoulders are rolled onto the back of the body. Let's just switch the weights. We're gonna lift the right foot up just a little. Try not to move anything in the hips. Lower back down. We switch to the left. Lift the leg up. Lower back down. One more time. Lift the right and lower back down. Lift the left and lower back down. Good, finding that high bridge position. Bring your right leg up. We're gonna kick it up for one, two, and flex it down. Point up for one, two, and flex it down. Two more. One, two, and flex it down. One, two, and flex it down. Bring that leg down, melt the spine. Vertebrae by vertebrae. We have one more time on the other side. Peel the spine right back up. Nice, proud position. Let's bring that top leg up. We double kick, one, two, and flex it down. Up one, two, and flex it down. Two more. One, two, and flex it down. One, two, and flex it down. Bring that foot down. Come even higher into your bridge position. And then melt the spine. Think upper. Okay, that's there. Think the middle spine. Press it into the floor. And then the lower spine. Rest it down. Good. Bring your legs into a nice long position. They're hugging together. Feet are flexed. Transitioning into another roll-up. Rolling up. Peeling the spine like it's a wheel on your back. 
And we're gonna go to spine twist. The heels are together. You're sitting nice and tall. This one feels very good. Similar to saw, but you're not going to dive forward. You're going to sit very tall, growing through the crown of your head. Your hands are at a T position, again, in your peripheral vision. We're going to twist. And I want you to just hold that position. Twist to the right. Hold it. Now grow from your fingertips. Twist your, your abdominals even deeper. Find your center position. We're twisting around the spine. Twist to the left. Pull your fingertips even longer, like I'm pulling them out from your body. Pull the abdominals even deeper and find your center. One more time, each side slow. Twist, even longer, even deeper, even prouder, find your center. Twist to the left, even longer, even deeper, even prouder. Let's add a little pulse. One, two, and center. One, two, and center. One more time. One, two, and center. Last one. One, two, and sweat center. Almost like wringing out the abdominals. That's kind of like when I want to feel like if you wring out a dish towel. Okay. Going into jackknife, guys. So, rolling down into your mat. We're going to bring our legs into a tabletop position, then bring them straight up to the ceiling. Again, another very advanced work. You want to feel a lot of pressure in the upper back, okay? So, bring the legs to a parallel position. Now, bring them straight up to the ceiling. Flex the feet lower down as you peel and melt the spine. Vertebrae by vertebrae. And then lower the legs to a 45 degree angle. Point them. Come right back up to parallel behind you. Bring the legs straight up to the ceiling. Flex the feet. Squeeze the glutes. They're parallel to each other. Melt the spine bone by bone. Vertebrae by vertebrae. Let's do that again. 45 degrees. Come right back up. Parallel. Now bring your legs straight up to the ceiling. Flex the feet. Lower back a little bit. Melt the spine down. Let's have two of a little bit more of an advanced challenge. You can bring your legs straight up to the ceiling right away. Straight up. Flex the feet. Melt the spine down. We have one more time like that. Or keep to the first version. Come right back up. Up. Flex the feet. Melt the spine down bone by bone. Good. And hug your legs into your chest. Good. Rock up to a sitting position, and we're going to go into our side kick series. So, lining yourself up with the back edge of the mat. Again, very important we remember that. So, when you're on your mat, you want to set yourself up very, very properly. So, back edge of the mat is with your upper body. The front edge of the mat is with your lower half. So, my feet are at the front corner. Because it's an advanced class, bring your hands behind you. But if you need more support, bring it in front of you. It's completely up to you guys. Bring that top leg up. We're going to double kick, but we're going to take it slow first. We're going to double kick to the front one, pull the abdominals even deeper too, and then point it to the back, squeeze the glutes. Nice long arabesque line, but don't drop your hip. Kick it to the front one, pull your abdominals even deeper too, and then kick it to the front. Now let's speed it up because this is a dance. Here we go. Kick, kick, and bring it to the back. Kick, kick, and bring it to the back. Don't move your hips. Kick, kick, and bring it to the back. One more. Kick, kick, and bring it to the back. Bring both legs together for up and down. We're going to go flex the foot up for three, two, one, point down for one. Not about the height, it's about the resistance. And one. Up for three, two, one, down for one. How are your abdominals? Up for three, two, one, down for one. Up for one, down for three, two, one. Up for one, down for three, two, one. Last one. Up for one, down for three, two, one. Let's take these circles nice and small, and they will get bigger as we go through our fives. So we circle a little for one, a little bigger two, and three, and four, and biggest, reverse, don't move your hips. Little and bigger, 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 uh, that was the biggest. <laughs> okay, bring both hips together. They're nice and stacked. Let's go into bicycle. You will have no help with that supporting hand. So it's really keeping your abdominals nice and still, but it also feels very good in the hip. We're going to kick that leg to the front. You're going to envelope it through. You're going to bring that nice long arabesque line to the back and then kick it to the front, flex. We bring it to a nice passe, turned in, tight into your body. Bring it to the back and flex it to the front. One more time before we reverse. Passe, bring it nice and tight in. Bring it to the back and bring both feet together. Let's reverse. Back, on the pit, or double it. Bring it into that nice passe, front and flex it to the back. Good, bringing it through. Nice tight leg to the front and flexing it back. Good, here we go, last one. Nice, tight passe, bring it to the front and flex it to the back, bring both legs together. Let's bring our bodies up and transition to the other side. Okay, done. Good, lining yourself up at the back edge of the mat, bringing your feet in front of you. Remembering to really scoop the abdominals in deep. 
You have a little mouse house underneath your rib cage. Bring your hand behind you or in front of you for support, leaving it up to you. Bring that top leg up. We double kick. One. Slow it down. A little deeper, two. Like someone's punching in the abdominals. Point the leg to the back. Nice, long leg. Think about energy shooting out through your foot, but equal energy shooting out through the crown of the head. I'm not digging into my hand. I'm supporting my upper body. One more slow. Let's speed it up. We kick, kick, and point to the back. Kick, kick, and point to the back. Two more. Kick, kick, and point to the back. Kick, kick, and point to the back. Bring both legs together for up and downs. Up for three, two, one, point down for one. Up for three, two, one, down for one. One more time. Up for three, two, one, down for one. Let's reverse. Up for one, down for three, two, one. Like I'm pushing your leg up, but I'm resisting you as you go down. One more. Up for three, and down for three. Sorry. Let's circle the leg for five, little four, and three. Even bigger. Two, biggest. One. Reverse. One, little bigger. Two, and three, and four. Biggest. Keep your abdominals engaged. Good, let's go into bicycle. Bring that leg to the front. You're gonna angle pay it through. Your abdominals are still in and up. Your hips are still aligned. Flex it to the front. Angle pay it through, driving it to the back. Nice long leg, bringing it to the front one more time. Angle pay it through, bringing it to the back. Bring both legs together, let's reverse. Bring that leg to the back. Devil paying it through, nice long leg. Abdominals are in and up. Don't forget about your mouth house underneath the rib cage. No Pressure into that supporting hand with the head. One more time. Devil paying it through. Nice and long, flexing it to the back. Bring both legs together. Another very beneficial thing to do with the side series is using a TheraBand around your legs. You'll get a lot more resistance. Bring your legs around to where you started, and we're gonna go into some teaser. So, we're gonna do three sets of three today. Teaser is the hardest one, guys, I'm gonna be honest. It's one of the most challenging. So let's get right into it. We're gonna bring our body down to the mat. We're gonna start easier, and then we'll get a little more advanced. The first one, you're gonna bring your legs into a tabletop position. Your hands are long by your side. We're finding that teaser in the abdominals, the deepest tremble in your abs, okay? So looking down, looking into your belly button, you're gonna shoot your legs straight out, and we're gonna come nice and high into that teaser position. Finding it nice and long, we're gonna lower halfway, come right back up. One more, lower halfway, Come right back up and melt your body into the mat. Rest your hands by your side. Good. We have two more sets of three. It's a little bit different on this next one. Bring your legs nice and long to a 45 degree angle. Bring your hands nice and long by your side. Here we go. Lifting your body up nice and tall. Bring your hands by your ears. Lower the legs down a little bit. Bring your legs up a lot. Lower your legs down a little bit. Bring your legs up even more. Lower your legs down a little bit. Nice and high and melt the spine down. Legs are long, arms are long. I wish I could tell you that that was the hardest one, but we're going to finish out with the hardest one. So press your lower back into the mat. Your rib cage is closed. You're almost there, guys. We're going to circle the arms and come right up into a nice, tall teaser. You're going to lower halfway again, even lower. Come right back up. One more time, guys. Lower halfway. Come right back up. You're going to stay here for hip circles. Bring your hands behind you. Your hands are long on the mat. Let's go into our hip circles. You're going to circle to the right. They're small. They're not going to be big and circle to the left, down around, drawing with your abdominals. Hold your abdominals in and up, tight. Good, one more time, circle the legs to the left, down around, good, and bend your legs. Scoot yourself back, just stretch forward. Good, nice stretch, touch your toes. Whew, that was a challenge, guys. Let's go into swim. So, flipping back over to your tummy, your abdominals are in and up and we're gonna swim it out. So bring your hands nice and long in a V, and your legs are the exact same. We're gonna lift everything up at once, so arms and legs come up, abdominals are in and up, I'm looking down at my mat because I don't wanna break my neck, and I'm gonna swim and flutter it up. For 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, relax it down. Go back into a quick child's pose position, guys, stretching it out. But remembering, we're not gonna stop here, because we're keeping that flow going. Come right back out for leg pull downs. Bring your body into a front support position. So right leg back, left leg back. I'm nice and elongated through the crown of my head and my heels are driving back away from my body. I'm gonna lift my right leg up and I'm gonna pulse that leg back for three, two, one, replace. Lift the left leg up, pulse back for three, two, one, lift the le leg up, right leg up. Three, two, one, last one. Left leg up, three, two, 
one, and rest your leg down. We're gonna go into leg pull down. So bring your left arm facing your right hand. You're gonna circle the arm around. If you need to walk your feet, you can. And your fingertips should be facing your bottom. I'm in a nice high bridge. I'm gonna kick my right leg up, my heels are driving into the mat. Left leg up, kick up, and down. Right leg up, and down. Good, keep going, one. Last one, are your hips high? Proud chest, last one. Lower down, you're not done there, guys. Bend your left leg in, find your nice side plank. Or setting up for your side plank, sorry. So kneeling side kicks, you should have your wrist in line with your shoulder. All right, my hand's gonna come behind my head. My toe is still on the mat because I'm lining my body up. I'm gonna bring that top leg up, flex the foot. We're gonna do little circles for five, four, three, two, and one. Reverse your circles for five, four, three, two, one. Flex the foot, do a little kick to the front, and bring it to the back. Bring it to the front, and bring it to the back. Two more, bring it to the front, and bring it to the back. One more, bring it to the front, and bring it to the back. Bend that leg in, shoot your body up to that T position. Bring the left leg long onto the mat, and bring your body down. Lining yourself up, making sure your wrist is in line with your shoulder. Bring that hand behind you. We're gonna bring that top leg up. Flex it, and we're gonna do little circles for five. Four, three, two, one. Reverse the circles for five. Four, three, two, one. Now we're gonna kick it to the front, and flex it to the back. Kick it to the front, and flex it to the back. Two more. Kick it to the front, and flex it to the back. Abdominals in and up. Good, and back. Bring your leg bent, shoot yourself up, and I have a surprise for you, get to stretch. So lie yourself down on your right side. We're gonna stretch it out in a little mermaid. It does not mean you're done with the exercises though. We're just gonna take a little bit of a break. Nice and long, sitting up tall, never abusing the side stretch. Grab your left ankle with your left hand. The right arm comes nice and long above your side, so by your ear. Lifting up through the crown of the head. We're gonna inhale, and you're gonna exhale, stretch it over to the side. You can look down for a deep stretch. And come right back up. Inhale to the nose. Exhale, don't abuse that breath, guys. Really make sure you're breathing. Because if you're not, you'll be out of breath, like I am, because I can't really breathe. I have to speak it as well. Inhale to the nose, and exhale to the mouth. That's definitely the hardest part. And come right back up. Bring your arms to a T position. Gracefully drop the right arm onto the mat. Anchoring your left hip into the floor, stretch out the opposite side. Good, and we're gonna come right back up. Shoot your body up to a T position, place your hands behind you. Tease with the legs, nice proud teaser. Switch over to the other side. Making sure you're trying to get that opposite hip down on the floor. We wanna to try to step as tall as possible. Grabbing the right ankle with the right hand, bring your left hand by your ear. Lifting up to go over, inhale through the nose, exhale let all the air out. I'm gonna take a nice deep breath on this next one. Come up, we're gonna inhale. Last one. That feels glorious. Come on up, find your T position, and drop gracefully to the left side, making sure to anchor that right hip into the floor as deeply as you can. Come on up, finding your T position. Bring your hands behind you, teasing the legs again, and switch over to the front edge of your mat for boomerang. Okay, so I've done this one on my live before, but because Instagram can't go this way, it's only this way, um, my legs are cut off. So just really listen to my cues. Cross your right, legs, right leg over your left, in a susu basically. You're sitting up nice and tall on those sits bones. Your hands are by your side for boomerang. This is one of my favorites. So we're gonna find that nice proud teaser position, keeping the legs crossed. You're gonna roll down to the tips of the shoulder blades, hike the hips up, you're gonna beat switch your legs. So now my left leg's in front. I'm gonna lower my body down, find a nice teaser as fast as I can. Flip the palms up, bring your elbows in, interlock the fingers, lower the legs, and stretch it forward. Circle the arms, working the rotators. Come right back up and do it again. Find your teaser, rock down. Beat, switch the legs, come on up, find your teaser as fast as you can, flip the palms, elbows in, interlock the fingers, and then lower the legs down, circle the arms. Let's do that two more times with a little bit more speed. Bring it up, roll it on down. Switch, beat the legs, come on up, teaser, flip, in, interlock.
walk the fingers, circle one more time. Come on back, up, roll on back, switch your feet, melt the spine down, find that nice proud teaser, flip the hands, bring it in, stretch it forward. That's a hard one, just stretch it forward, you can even uncross your ankles. And we're gonna go into to seal, we're almost done guys. So bring your body to the front edge of the mat. We're gonna go into some seal, we got two more exercises. All right, prayer in your hands. You're gonna lace them through the inside of your body. So I'm gonna face you. Prayer, like rolling like a ball. Bring them through. You're gonna grab your ankles. Remember, especially my dancers, we're not in a frog position. You're gonna make sure that your knees are only in line with your shoulder blades. Rocking to the tips of the shoulder blades, let's add some claps. We clap for three, two, one with the heels, rock back. Three, two, one. Just the heels are beating. Look into your belly button. Three, two, one. Rock it back. Three, two, one. Rock it forward. Three, two, one. Rock it back. Massaging the spine. You deserve it. Give it some nice massaging out. Last one. And rock up. Find your position. Place your feet down. Let's go straight into that next exercise. Rolling down into the mat for control balance. Another one of my all-time favorites. I've been working on this one for a while, and it's definitely fun to get it without the arms, which you will understand in a second. So we're gonna bring our legs to tabletop position, bring them up behind you, or up straight to the ceiling. Bring them behind you parallel to the floor. Rest your feet on the floor. Get your arm, your elbows, or sorry, your shoulders nice and under your body. Bring your hands, oh sorry, circle your hands around and grab the ankles. Okay, so this is a balance control exercise. So you're strengthening the shoulders, but you're using your abdominals to find that balance. Grabbing the left ankle, bring the right leg up to the ceiling. Think about driving that foot long away from the body, the toe has so much energy, and then lower back down. Grab the right ankle, lift the left leg up. Trying to find that nice long balance. Keep all strain out of your neck, it's on the shoulders. Lower down, and bring the right leg back up. Now, what's the challenge, you ask? As the right leg lowers down, try to hover the left leg and then bring it down. Find that moment of suspension in gravity. Lower the leg, bring it right back up. Use your abdominals. Good, one more time. Bring that leg right back up to the ceiling. Use your abs, don't fall back. Good, bring both legs down. We're gonna stand up from this position. You're gonna lower the, melt the spine down, just feeling a nice stretch. You're gonna cross your legs over each other, cross the arms, Stand it up without touching the floor. Awesome. Good. I'm going to raise this up because we're going to finish out with a little bit of a standing exercise. All right. I'm going to walk back to the edge of my mat. I want you to keep your rib cage closed. You're going to lift your hands above the head and you're going to dive the hands forward. We're going to walk the hands out in three, two, one. My legs are glued together. Okay. Nice long plank position. Give me three push ups. Push down for one, up, two, up, three, up. Hike the hips up, walk back for three, two, one. Don't move the hips for one. Melt the spine up, vertebra to vertebrae, head's the last thing to stand. Circle the arms up, a little bit different. We're gonna dive the head down, walk your hands out in three, two, one. This time keep your elbows into your side for these three push-ups. Push down for one, come on up, two, and up, three, and up. Hike the hips up, walk back for three, two, one. Roll through the abdominals, scooping them in and up. One more time, circle the arms up, Dive it down. And let's go back to that first push up. Walk your hands out for three, two, one. So nice wide elbows. Here we go. Three, and two, and one. Hike your hips up. Stretch it out a little bit. Drive your heels down. Slow down the breath. Make sure you're giving yourself oxygen. Blood needs oxygen to flow, guys. Always remember that. Walk your hands back in three, two, one. Good, slowly melt through the spine. Think lower abdominals, lower back. Middle abdominals, middle back. Upper abdominals, upper back, head being the last thing that stands up. Going into your Pilates first position, just want you to feel how tall you feel after taking this, okay? So growing through the crown of your head, your abdominals are scooped in and up, hands are long by your side, inhale through the nose, and as you rise up into a nice releve, hold that breath for three, two, one, exhale, push all the air out like you're pushing it through your heels, but you're still growing up through the crown of the head. Two more times, inhale through the nose, rise and up, hold for three, two, one, exhale, blow all the energy, all the last drop of air, one more time, inhale through the nose, 
Hold for three, two, one. Exhale, pull all the air out. Energy growing through the crown of your head. And you are done. Good job, guys. I hope you enjoyed this advanced math class. I know I did. It's definitely a killer. And thanks for everyone who took. Good. Good, Susan. How'd you like it? That's definitely a little more advanced than what we usually do. So it's a hard one, but I adore it. It's great. You are very welcome. Oh, good. Hey, Emma, did you take? Oh, yay, she took, yay. All right, thank you so much, guys, for taking. This will be posted on their IGTV. Again, my name is Taylor Sambola, Tay Tay Valley on Instagram. I am so thankful that they, Zara Laura let me come on your Instagram and teach y'all. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, follow me. I'll be teaching more throughout the week. I usually post my schedules on Sunday. Um, I'm here for you, especially the arts world. I understand what's going on. It's hard to stay in shape. I'm here for you. So thank you so much, guys, and I hope to see y'all later. Bye.